Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to address the most burning issue of Canvas app lock when more than one app maker try to work on the same app simultaneously. We can resolve this issue integrating the Power App with GitHub and provide the access on the GitHub and Canvas app to all the team members so that everybody can work on that app simultaneously. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, this is the best time to subscribe to my channel to get all latest updates in Power Platform, tips and tricks to create performant artifacts in Power Platform. On November 1st, 2021, Mr. Greg had published a blog co-authoring for Power Apps Studio. In this article, he had explained how a app can be edited by more than one maker simultaneously with a GIF and also he provided a link for the documentation how we can configure for our own organization. When you click on that, a step-by-step -step documentation covers how we could configure GitHub with Canvas so that more than one maker can work simultaneously. One of the prerequisite for this is having a GitHub account to integrate our Power Platform apps with it. Let's go ahead and create a new repository and then integrate that repository with Power Platform. Go on to github.com, click on sign up. First step, it will ask you your email ID. Provide your email ID which you want to configure GitHub to associate with your Power Platform. Remember, we don't have to have the same account which we are using on Power Platform. This account could be anything. I have provided the email ID, password and a username to create my GitHub account. This is a key. So give this user ID appropriately. If you want to hear the product updates, okay, say yes. Click on yes. Now it will ask you the puzzle to validate to create the account. Once you solve the puzzle, say click on create account. It will trigger a code to activate your GitHub account. Once you enter the key provided by GitHub on your email, it will ask you your age and then who are you student or teacher. I am selecting student, say continue. If you want to enable any of these features, you can enable. For now, I am not doing anything. Click on continue and then I am going with continue for free. This will create a GitHub account for me. Now it created a brand new GitHub account for me. And when I go here and click on your repositories, I don't have any repository. Good. I have my GitHub account ready. Let's go ahead and open the app and integrate that app with this GitHub. I have connected to Power Apps Maker Studio and opened one of the existing app. First thing is enabling git feature in the power apps micro studio how we could do that is go to documentation they have clearly given the steps under settings upcoming feature experimental look for show git version and control settings let's go to app settings upcoming feature experimental under this you can scroll down or you can as well say git now this is available click on the toggle so it will enable git versioning for this app click on the git versioning now you can associate this app with your github account click on connect so once you click on connect it will ask you for the git repository url branch and directory name we have just created the github account we don't have any repository to associate that repository with this app now go back to GitHub, click on the plus icon, say new repository. I just named my repository as Power App Farms. Provide the description as appropriate. And here it cannot be public. As of today, Power Platform can only communicate with private repository. One of the limitation and mentioned clearly as part of the known limitation. We cannot communicate with public Git repository as of today. Now go back to GitHub, select the checkbox, add a readme file that will create a main branch for that repository if you do not 
click on this checkbox, it will not create any branch by default, but we need the branch name to be provided as part of this association. So select this checkbox, click on create repository. Now this will create a repository with a branch name main. Now I got the repository URL as my account followed by the new repository which I have created. Copy that and provide that as part of the URL. Now the branch is main because my branch name is main here and here I can provide the directory name I want. Here I will say power app responsive forms. Now click on apply. Once you click on apply, it will ask you username and password. What is the username and password? When you come on to documentation again, username is nothing but the account name which you have created for the GitHub. Access token is the access token which we have to create for the GitHub account. Click on this link. So as part of the GitHub account settings, go to GitHub, click on this settings. After the settings, under developer settings, go to developer settings. Under developer settings, click on personal access tokens, generate a new token. Now provide the note for this token. I have provided the note as Power Apps Repository Forms Repository. And then expiration, you can specify how long you want to retain this token to be live. I'm going to say no expiration, followed by select the scope of this token. Now I'm going to say repo as they have explained in the documentation. Then click on generate token. This will generate the token. This token is very important. So save this token because we need this token to access the app once we plug the app with GitHub. I copied the token. Now go back to the Power App. Give the account username as nothing but Krishna Git demo. Password is the token which we copied just now. Click and sign in. Now it is asking you, shall I create a directory because I did not find any directory with this directory name. When you go back to your repository, all I have is Power App Forms. Under that, I have a main branch, but I don't have any folders under that. Now I'll say, yes, go ahead and create a directory with my code. Soon I say that it creates a directory with custom name I provided while associating the app with GitHub and it generates the code repository for my Power App here. I can see the entire app here. Under SRC, I can see three YAML files, which are nothing but my three screens and app YAML and themes.json everything. When I go to landing screen, it will show you all the controls rendering as part of that screen. Soon I integrate my app with GitHub. I will see one more option to refresh my app with GitHub repository. Now let's go ahead and make some changes in my GitHub repository and see will it get replicate over here or not. If I come here, click on this. When you scroll down, I can see LBL header. Go back to the app and select that which is nothing but LBL header is the heading which I have created to my app. Now I want to say the inventory as GitHub and I will say updated my app heading and say commit the changes and come back to app and I refresh it will reload my app with the github repository and it will show the new heading as it shows in my git repository. Since we made the change of the heading at the repository level the height of the heading is not appropriate. Now Let's go ahead and change the height at the app level and then commit the changes back to repository. Now we have seen that when you make the change at the repository level, it is replicating onto the app. Let us do the other way around by making changes at the app and see whether it is getting commit back to repository or not. Now I have updated the height of the heading to 350 and then click on the refresh icon to commit the changes back to 
repository click on the refresh now as of now it is showing as 119 if i just refresh my browser it automatically updated to 350 which means that my integration with this app to my git repository is successful what is my next step is now i'll share my app with my team members and then ask my team member to work on this app at the same time now i'm going to share this app with mr david david wilson as a co-owner and i'll say share now i have opened another browser here you could see my account here i have logged in as david now david also got access to my power app which i have connected with if david try to access the app see what happens it is trying to open the app the time it opened the app it will first ask you your github repository credentials we know that user id is this and the password is what the secure token we have created copy that secure token and paste it here to get into the app the time i provided that secure token it is opening that app now i did not see that error message of app got locked with another user let us examine one more time what is the name of the app i see here reusable farms power app reusable farms and here also i see power app reusable farms now if i make a change here now i'm just removing this github here and i'll say david and then i am committing my change here and when i go to repository and refresh here i can see my title got updated to device inventory david if i come here and I refresh my app as the account as krishna i can also see my app updated with the new title over there and if i just update as krishna here say that add device or device add submit or commit my changes to repository i'm committing my changes to repository and when i come here onto david's account and just refresh here it gets the latest changes from github repository and updates the app accordingly now if you see i can see device add as part of david session as well this is how we can integrate canvas app with github to implement the app by more than one app maker simultaneously which in turn address the issue of app being locked by other maker and we need not to be in the queue until that maker release the app now my app is fully integrated with github and any number of power app makers can work on my app simultaneously i hope you learned how to create a github account repository how to integrate that repository with your power app and do a commit back to repository and see the changes on the other account at the same time here is my contact information if you like the video hit like add your comment subscribe to my youtube channel for all future notifications thank you have a nice day